aggregation. Today we will learn how to aggregate the data based on the columns individually. What does it mean? For that, let's have a look at the previous videos which we learned. So previously we saw a video where we learned how to get the descriptive statistical summary using pandas. What was that actually? So in that we learned how can we get this kind of descriptive statistical summary for our data frame, right? Wherever it takes all the variables or we also learned how to specify some particular variables and using describe function we were able to find count, mean, standard deviation, minimum, etc. In some of the scenario, we also learned how to find only count for all of the variables or for some of the variables. In the similar function, we also learned to find average of some of the variables or all of the variables. Now the question comes in, what if we want to know the unit price average i mean here we just want to check the average of only one variable which is unit price and we want to check the sum of quantity and we want to check the minimum of rating variable if you see over here and if you can notice we are trying to find three different statistical summary for three different variables which we have not been yet able to do right so this is what we will learn over here today hello everyone welcome to the channel and to understand the concept clearly please watch the video till the end once you are done with watching the video do not forget to like comment subscribe and hit the bell icon so to achieve this target we will use the aggregate function and there are three ways in which we can use this function first this this is the simplest form where we can use the aggregate function so first we need to provide the data frame name on which we want to do the aggregation then we need to type aggregate this is the hard coded function which will help us to find the aggregation then you need to use the numpy library and out of numpy library you get get many aggregation functions like sum minimum maximum average which is mean standard deviation etc we will be providing a list of all the functions which you can use from numpy so this is the simplest form of using this aggregate function and here we, we are using this on all the variables available in this particular data frame Right, so this will be again same as we did in describe function, describe functionality previously in the previous video. But here we will be using only one function on all the variables in a data frame or if you want you can use many other functions as well. The next way which we will try is we will learn how to use this aggregate method on one or more than one columns in a data frame here we used all the columns from this particular data frame but here we are specifying the column names either one or more than one similarly we are specifying the specific functions for example if you want you can use mean average and max three functions three functions on either one column or more than one column from this particular data frame then we have other method which is using a dictionary if you can notice over here here we have curly bracket which indicates that here we are using the dictionary and here for each of the particular variable we are using a separate diff separate aggregation function we will be using a separate aggregation function for example column 1 we can use mean column 2 we can use max column 3 we can use average something like that all right so this is enough of theory and lecture let's jump to the python ide and try to do this practically so here we have imported two libraries pandas and numpy so this is important you should be having these two libraries imported and then 
here I have imported my Excel file and this is nothing just I'm changing the data type of the data variable. Now I have my Mart data available over here on which I will be using different different functions. So first thing which we have to try is aggregate function on all the variables of a data frame. So let's try that. Our data frame name is Mart and then we are gonna say aggregate. Here from the list we can choose aggregate and then you need to call numpy library and from numpy you need to choose a aggregation function and aggregation function which I am going to take min over here. This will tell me the minimum value in each of the variable available in this mart data frame. Now let's execute this and see the answer. Here we have the answer available over here. So this is how you can use one aggregation function on all of the variables in a data frame. Let's try to use more than one function on all of the variables in a data frame. Let's try max. So we are trying to check mean and max both on this on the list of variables available in this particular data frame. So here we have all the information available. I'm sorry, it's looking quite hazy because we have um, more than enough number of variables, right? So like you can see over here, here mean is this, max is this. So this is how you can check mean and max. Don't worry about this a prefix. This is nothing, just says aggregation. Now next is a challenge which we have is to use either one or more than one aggregation functions on either one or more than one columns. So here we have two aggregation functions. Now we will choose some specific variables from this particular data frame. Let's try to use this first on one variable which is date. So I am going to find the first and the last date of order on this particular supermarket. Right. So here if you see the transaction started on 1st Jan 2019 and the last transaction which took place was on 3rd December 2019. So this is how you can use one or more than one aggregation function on one particular variable from a data frame. Now let's include more than one variable over here. For example, I am going to try unit price and then let's run this. Again, like you can see over here, here we have mean and max of date and unit price. Similarly, if you want to find, if you want to include one more variable, for example, quantity and you want to find sum as well. So the, here the, it does not make any sense to find the sum of date, but let's see what happens. So here you can see, here it says an AT means that's not applicable over here, right? And for rest of the variables, it is giving it the value, right? Now you just noticed we used these all three functions on all of these three variables. So here we had a situation, we wanted to use some function on unit price and quantity, but not on date variable. So what is the solution for that? For that, we're going to use these dictionary method right let's try how can we do that for that first you need to type the mart name right then aggregate when i say mart name means your data frame whatever data frame do you have right then start with parenthesis operator and inside that start your dictionary using the curly bracket so first variable which we have to use is date and for date variable, we just want to find mean, that is first date. Then here we just need to use colon, not the comma, right? Then next variable, which is unit price. And then colon, and then the next function from numpy library which we want to use that is max and then again 
the next variable which we need to use over here which is quantity and for quantity we want to check the average and for that we need to use mean function and let's execute this there is something wrong here we don't need to provide the comma now let's run this well so here we have the information for date we have the minimum yeah that means first date of transaction then for unit price here we have the maximum unit price is 99.96 then the quantity average quantity which has been purchased is 5.51 so when you use dictionary method you don't get the measurement i mean the statistical terms which has been used over here if you want to use that probably you will have to try renaming the things and etc right so here we just use one uh, statistical term to find uh, to uh, to find the minimum date right what if you want to use uh, more than one so how can you do that so for that let's try the list of function max so now you can see for date we are trying two things for unit price we are just trying to find max and for quantity we are trying to find the average let's try this if this works wow that just worked right here it worked now you can see the function name as well over here so for example here you can see for date variable we have max and mean both but that is not applicable on unit price and max is not applicable on quantity so whatever is not applicable on a given variable for that we have null but rest of for the rest of them we have the values all right so this is how you can use the aggregation function and you can use numpy library to find aggregation for the individual variables i just hope that we made it clear just in case if you have any kind of doubt do not forget to put that into the comment section we will try to solve that thank you very much for watching the video wish you very good luck